The relevance of the Black Lives Matter campaign tragically emphasized again in the United States recently. Full support here. Liverpool kick off with a first touch for James Milner driving on both uh, in that piece of play and in his career. And here's Sadio Mane. Andy Robertson waiting to back him up, but uh, in the end, Bayer struggling to get it away, but the referee gives Arsenal a free kick. Well, decent defending by Bellerin in the end, up against Mane. They are going to play with a back three Arsenal, as they have done in recent times. And that certainly uh, allowed, uh, in the FA Cup final, Ainsley Maitland-Niles to get forward down the Arsenal left. And Kranich Jacker will be off uh, with Switzerland. International matches coming up. Hard on the heels of this for many of the players involved. It's uh, again making it difficult with all the travel restrictions. What is secure and what is not. Liverpool allowed back from Austria, which is on the uh, British banned list for holidaymakers, but getting a sporting exemption. Uh, Arsenal still, particularly without their French players or French base players. They've been back uh, to see families that they haven't seen for quite a long time because of the circumstances, and you can understand that. Just left them slightly, you would feel, less prepared than Liverpool for today. All right, you will see Nico Williams try and get forward down that right-hand side. Every time Mo Salah comes in field, Nico Williams will make that run. He's a very promising deputy for... Trent Alexander-Arnold is one of uh, a number of Liverpool players not quite ready for today. But most of them squad players. It's got a, a real ring, a red ring to it for the champions. Williams has been called up by Wales for what would be his international debut at a full level. Allison in the Liverpool goal, and what a season they had in the wait in the league to win it so emphatically. 18 points backed up by Robertson. Another thrust down beneath us for Liverpool. Well, actually, Holden did quite well just to match Mane for pace there. Mane got to the ball eventually. It wasn't a good ball played in by Robertson, but that ball over the top could cause Arsenal problems with the pace of Mane. Been a lot of speculation about Arsenal in the transfer market, including the fact that Hector Bellerin might have to be sold and Maitland-Niles possibly maybe one of those two to raise some funds. Tierney looking on, who's fitted in very snugly to the left side of the back three. Yeah, there is Nico Williams. He just went out to Maitland Niles a little bit too early there and allowed the space in behind him. The ball needed to be better from Tierney to Aubameyang. Slightly misjudged by David Luiz, but Rob Holding behind him. Maitland Niles, whose birthday it is today, 23. Jacka. We've got. Uh, Jacker and Saka, but not Laka, as in Lacazette. Oh, it's uh, awkward in the end for Tierney. <laughs> Breathe a bit of a sigh of relief. You can just see the run of Salah in behind him. Robertson saw it, He's just trying to bend that ball in behind Tierney with his weaker right foot. Just didn't have the control with the clearance. And it was uh, not adjudged as a back pass. Oh, yeah. Free Mariner, nobody for Liverpool was appealing for that. VAR is in place and um, changes in the regulations, or certainly the protocol. Well, it looks as though Liverpool have been watching Bayern Munich. They held a, a high line there, right on the halfway line. 
Yeah, I think that was a, a developing feature last season. But the game against Salzburg, which was the game they played on Tuesday, they were two down after 15 minutes because of the high mm. line. So it will be interesting to see how their domestic opponents work out that. Forward by Milner. Controlled by Robertson. Here's Mane, seeing plenty of the ball early on. Cut out by Jacka. Fabinho. And they just to juggle things pre-season in those two games to give Wijnaldum a go in the uh, number six role, if you like, that Fabinho's the main uh, man with Henderson out at the moment. And that was uh, <laughs> rash. And it was David Luiz. Well, I'm not sure what he can moan about there. <laughs> Wijnaldum's touch took him past David Luiz. He steps across him and dives across him in the end. Mm. It's Arsenal's turn to just squeeze Liverpool out as much as they can, using the line on the edge of the penalty area as a guide. But they're caught out, but the flag is up. And Virgil van Dijk with, of course, VAR to review it. Well, there is van Dijk in an offside position. He never gets back onside yeah. before he makes his run forward. I'm not sure he actually got a touch yeah. on the ball. Certainly was affecting the play. He was affecting the play and the yeah. defender that was going for it. But it is being checked and uh, has been disallowed. Liverpool trying to call the tune here. Arsenal will draw comfort and heart from the fact that they beat Liverpool late on in Project Restart at uh, the Emirates Stadium. There's the danger. Liverpool holding a high line. They actually went back in just as the ball was played. Good defending band by Van Dijk in the end. He's and Ketia out of the picture. But obviously Mikel Arteta and Steve Round have done their homework because as soon as that ball was looking as though it was going to be played forward and Ketia Aubameyang made their forward runs to try and break that offside line. But for Arsenal in particular, Quite uh, difficult to work out who will be playing today. They've had one pre-season game also on Tuesday when Liverpool had played their second. That was not too far away from London to Milton Keynes up the M1. And Williams' touch could have taken his team into trouble. In fact, it nearly did. And uh, Maitland-Niles cropped up a bit more centrally. David Luiz committing himself for the ball. Bayerine. Arsenal missing the likes of Mustafi, Mari, Chambers, all uh, injured defenders. As I said at the start, hoping that Danny Ceballos can be prized back away from Real Madrid. The transfer window opened till early October, so there's going to be a lot of toing and froing. The Premier League, of course, doesn't start for another two weeks. But they couldn't play this a week before because of the international. Uh, the Nations League starts. But the one player that has been linked to both clubs is Thiago of mm. Bayern Munich. On the back of uh, not just winning the Champions League, but fantastic talent. Here is that ball played in. Van Dijk is definitely offside as the ball's played in. It wasn't him that actually got the touch on it. But, uh, bang in the face from last Tuesday. Nothing too dramatic in terms of strapping. Been uh, knitted together. <laughs> the 
And some uh, talk about uh, Wijnaldum moving away from uh, Liverpool. Barcelona showing some interest. Jurgen Klopp was asked whether it would be a swap for Messi, but uh, didn't feel that the numbers quite added up from the Anfield point of view. Jacket. Now David Luiz. Already had the uh, equivalent fixture in the women's game earlier today on the pitch. Defeating Manchester City. Joe Gomez. Who's in the England squad for upcoming games in Iceland and Denmark. Milner, who's England days uh, behind him now. Just a misunderstanding with Mane there. Mane made out he was going to run long, then came short. David Luiz has made a real mess of that. When he's good, David Luiz, he's very good. But, but there is another end to that particular spectrum. Made away five Premier League penalties last season. Just over Mane, Milner was coming in behind but couldn't keep the header down. And should really score here. He doesn't have to jump above anybody, it's a great cross into the box, he just wanders in there and once he gets to it, should be heading that down. It's a great chance for James Milner, it's a good run. But not a good header in the end. Much in the Arteta mould, playing from the back for Arsenal, and they've worked it forward well. Here's uh, Bukayo Saka, now to Aubameyang. Is he going to make another mark on a Wembley game? He has done! He loves it here. And Arsenal take the lead, slightly against the run of play. Uh, the cup winners lead the champions, and Aubameyang is the man again. And that is sometimes why playing out from the back can work so favourably for you. Brilliant play from Arsenal. Yes, they took a gamble playing out from the back, but eventually it gets out to that right-hand side, the switch of the play. Tierney's making the overlapping run from the third centre-half position, but Aubameyang, once he comes in field, there's nothing really that Nico Williams can do about it. He's got a 2v1 situation against him. But a brilliant finish from Aubameyang. Just bends it round the... Left foot of Nico Williams, and Alisson was never going to get there. But it all started from Martinez at the back. Jurgen Klopp would have had a perfect view of that, but the uh, perfection in the dugout appreciated much more by Mikel Arteta. Well... <laughs> Two in the semi-final, two in the final, one in the Community Shield. And we've only had uh, a dozen minutes or so. No wonder Arsenal wanted to sign this deal that's very much on the table. There is a little bit of uh, concern about when to announce it because, of course, there's been a lot of publicity against the club, really, with the amount of redundancies that have been made of staff away from the playing side of the game. And uh, balancing that with a huge outlay, but yeah, there's no doubt that Aubameyang is justifying what's on the table for him. And it's certainly a different role that he plays for Arsenal than he did when he was at Borussia Dortmund, where he was very much the centre forward. But coming from that left hand side back onto his right foot, he looks a real threat. And that's where, of course, the manager was Jurgen Klopp for a period. Williams gets there first and uh, it's launched away by Van Dijk. Already before the goal, the game had a, a genuine feel about it. And the wish to start with silverware at the back end of August, three or four weeks later than the fixture is usually played. 
There been times in the past when it's been an in-season game rather than the start of the season clash between the champions and the cup winners. It's uh, remarkable to see El Elneny playing again for Arsenal. It looked as though his time had come and gone. But Danny Ceballos still being uh, pursued for a return. El Elneny is back. He played against MK Dons and played well. He scored a goal, which is not his forte. A goal from 45 yards in a 4-1 Arsenal win. That time Liverpool closed down and win the ball back or certainly stop Arsenal playing forward. But here's what a lovely pass it is from Saka with his left foot. Sees that Nico Williams was trying to hold a high line along with Gomez. The overlapping run from Tierney just allowed Aubameyang to come in field and whip that ball into the far corner. It was just inside that post. It, uh, it was too much for... Allison to try and get to. Robertson with the interception. Got some competition. A left back sign from Olympiakos. Costas Simikas is on the bench today. Arsenal know all about because he played a couple of times against the Gunners back in February in the Europa League. Holding's touch and Liverpool don't quite get a corner because Holding kept going. Yeah, that's going to be an intriguing battle between those two players. Mane looking to run in behind Holding. Robertson. Let's brush the corner flag on the way out. <laughs> really generous. Decision from the referee to allow the throw to be taken from where it was. No fans in here today, but down on the south coast, see, with a, a couple of thousand being allowed in in a pre season friendly. Here's uh, Kaiosaka. That's a good stop from Allison. It was well met by Oketia, who's a predatory player. Well, it was Nketiah who actually won the ball back, he started it off. Won the ball off Gomez. And it's a very good strike, he's just trying to bend it in the corner. And Alisson going one way, then has to dive back the other. It's an excellent save as well. And it's been uh, an excellent start to the Community Shield. Particularly for Arsenal. Versatile Saka, who's moved up the pecking order in terms of numbers from 77 to 7. And he plonks the corner straight into the gloves of Alisson. Oh, and the throw very nearly cut out. Wonderful go long, looking for Salah. That was also good defending by the Arsenal players at the back there. They didn't try and play Salah offside. They knew where the ball was going to be played. They recovered quickly. tierney has got a lot of pace. And the danger was snuffed out. Both clubs appearing in the Shield for the 23rd time. Both have won it 15 times, either outright or shared, which was the case for a period when it was level after 90 minutes. Six months each. And this is the fourth time they've faced each other in this fixture. Two wins for Liverpool and one for the Gunners. And Tierney his touch took him into trouble. And Liverpool sees the ball well forward and with numbers forward too. Firmino. And Wijnaldum involved and is trying to get to Nico Williams as the furthest man forward. Just been given a new deal on the uh, reflection for what he did at the back end of last season when he got into the first team. He got enough appearances to win a Premier League winner's medal. Just. <laughs> Arsenal leave three players up here, so it's three versus three because Nico Williams had pushed in. It's not a good kick in the end from Martinez. 
Miller. Got it into the feet of Firmino. Touch from El Nenny. On from Maitland Niles. And Katia waiting in the middle. Tierney is quite happy to gallop down the left hand side. And playing the cross in the end. David Lewis. Arsenal found their rhythm, they found their Wembley form after an awkward first few minutes, but if memory serves me right, that happened in the semi-final and the final. They were 1-0 mm. down, of course, to Christian Pulisic's goal to Chelsea in the final. Williams. Now Van Dijk. Once they'd clinched the title, which they did with seven matches still to play, Liverpool slightly and understandably went off the boil. Firmino, never really thinking about shooting. Williams, he thinks about shooting. Milner thinks about shooting, blocked by El Nenny. Gomez. Milner's picked up at a good position here. Away by holding. Just a misunderstanding between Tierney and Xhaka. As Milner made that forward run. Jordan Henderson is here. The man, of course, has had to forsake the captain's armband in a place in midfield today because of an injury in the back end of last season. Very much a, a cheerleader and a strong voice in the dressing room, even when he's not playing. A Robertson. Firmino lets it run. Milner. Firmino trying to come again. Milner trying to get there again. Tierney beats him to it. Gomez. This is all behind the ball. This is where Mikel Teta. Here's the goal again. What a strike it was from Obama Yang. He knew exactly what he was trying to do coming in on that right foot. Well, it might just be the pick of the five. And there's uh, Wembley Wonderland for the international from Gabon. And the current Arsenal leader is one of his predecessors, Granite Xhaka, who lost the job in rather contentious circumstances. Well, he had a good end to the season, did Granite Xhaka. Still have to question his discipline in that position as the holding midfield player, one of the holding midfield players. Commits a lot of fouls, isn't a great athlete. He's a very good pass for the ball, mind you. But Mikel Arteta seems to have got the best out of him. Well, he would understand the job, wouldn't he? Mikel Arteta did something similar in his time uh, as an Arsenal player. A totally different role to the one he played at Everton. Here's Bayerin. Will be a free kick to Liverpool. Does well, just coming across Gomez to read the run of Enketia. I think Enketia had a spell at the start of last season away uh, on loan at Leeds United, who of course ended up getting promotion. And he probably, fair to say, did better when he came back to Arsenal, even though uh, 
towards the end of the season he did get a red card and uh, missed the game against Liverpool in the league which uh, asked the 1-2-1 come from behind win and it would have given them I believe uh, there were individual mistakes by Liverpool for those two goals at the Emirates but it would have uh, certainly given most of these players were involved given them a belief that they although they would be cast as underdogs again at Wembley they could do the job here today and so far so good in that respect for the London club but a long way to go against the team of Liverpool's calibre Andre Marino one of the most experienced referees not quite the ancient Mariner yet but certainly one of the older members of the refereeing fraternity Bramayang at 31 it's probably a very big deal for him to negotiate to possibly the, the biggest opportunity to cash in on his undoubted ability He's yeah. shown Arsenal what he's made of, and he's doing it again here. Yeah, just when your contract's coming out, it always helps to win the cup for your, for your club. Oh. He was in again, and he got a better ball there <laughs> played to him. Just staying out wide on that left-hand side. 24 by Tierney. Katia jumping. And Chaka. And then he released it quickly and well. Saka and Ketia. Well, they're opening uh, Liverpool up again. Well, every time they win the ball back in midfield areas and counter attack with a bit of pace, as you said, they're causing Liverpool all sorts of problems. Saka coming in on that left foot again, playing it to Nketia. He's finding a bit of space between Nico Williams and Gomez, but he doesn't do what Aubameyang did and wrap his foot round it and bend it into the corner. Down at the moment. Wijnaldum. So Bamiang who's getting a bit of treatment over on that far side. He's back on the field now. Here's Fabinho. Milner. And Liverpool have got a lot of players forward here. Trying to squeeze him across a little flip forward in the end to the danger area from Fabinho. And Niles round on the cover and getting it away. Mane. Found by El Nemi. Now Gomez. Been a, a lively first almost half hour. Milner's been prominent when Liverpool have got four. He's got a bit lucky to get the ball back again here. He crosses well. Sensible header by Wijnaldum to Williams. Gomez. To involve Milner again. That's a brilliant take from the veteran. Crosses dealt with by Arsenal, Chaka in particular. Van Dijk spreading the play. And Niles doing well against Williams, who wins it back for Liverpool. Van Dijk. It's a little test this period of play for Arsenal's defensive resilience as the champions try to open them up. Robertson.
Gomez with uh, involvement in uh, Arsenal territory. Williams likewise. This is uh, blanket defending from the Gunners. Liverpool looking for gaps. Mane, flick from Firmino. And it was uh, fizzed across Martinez. Grateful that there was no one coming in at the far post. The same applies this time, but there is someone at the far post in red. Robertson going for it. After Mane kept it alive. The shot was from Salah. Flicks his head back, not once but twice. He obviously had a, a better view of where that was going than perhaps we did. Gesture of frustration. It's uh, kept in by... No, it's not kept in by Aubameyang, assistant oh. in the other half of the pitch. What a great ball that would have been from Martinez. Here's the moment where Mane thought he might have been fouled here by Behrin. Trying to play the one-two. Runs both sides of him. Behrin puts his arms on Mane, but I'm not sure it's enough to bring him down. And it's not enough for VAR to say that's a clear and obvious error. Yeah, that's the right decision. But Arsenal have been very disciplined when they're with their defending. They're allowing Liverpool lots of possession around the halfway line, but when it comes into that top third, they're really tight, they're well organised. Something that Mikel Arteta has really improved since he's been in charge. Miller again cropping up right and left to try and drive the team that he's leading today forward in search of this equaliser here. Awkward this for Berin. And El Nenny tracked his runner and got to the ball first. An advantage played. And asked the one to play from the back, and here's uh, Bukayo Saka. Abamia. Tierney. And if I uh, open them up again. Oh. The, uh, the last ball was never quite on to Saka from Anketia. Liverpool with a bit of space to break into this time. With Mane. Roll ball back by Salah. Didn't quite get Mane in towards goal, which he possibly could have done. And then uh, Mane... Looks disappointed as uh, loses the chance to keep the pressure on Arsenal. And there was just a moment up the other end when it looked as though Maitland-Niles should have pulled the trigger and had a yeah. shot himself. He's made a really good run, there's great movement out on that left-hand side for Arsenal. Tierney's making overlapping runs, Maitland-Niles is going in field, Aubameyang's just dropping that little bit shorter. And he found a bit of space in the box and he should have pulled the trigger. His last goal was against Liverpool. He's also scored against him in the Premier League. It was a five-all draw last season in the League Cup, which Liverpool won on penalties. And both sides won their home Premier League fixtures. Well, this is where they started the goal. and looking for some movement from the throw. Out for Nino. Now Milner again. Sometimes question marks asked about whether they've really got the kind of passer in midfield that Thiago would be if he chose Anfield over Arsenal, if those are the two options for him. Well, so much of their attacking threat comes from Salah and Mane running in behind, with Firmino coming that little bit shorter to pick up balls and play balls around the corner. You're absolutely right. Shakiri, you thought, was bought to just add that little bit of passing quality and of dribbling ability. Never really forced his way into the team on a regular basis. Well, he's still at Liverpool. He's one of the injured parties at the moment, along with the likes of Origi. Here's Mane. 
back to him by David Luiz. Milner. Robertson is such a great supplier and very nearly did the necessary then. Yeah, what a great pass or well, ball into the box that is from Robertson. Was this out of play? The linesman or the assistant referee said no. I tend to agree with him. There's the first cross that comes in, well defended by David Luiz. Milner looked to get it onto his left foot to get a strike away. And when it comes to Robertson, he's just bending that ball in and Salah wasn't quite ready for it. Uh, Salah was the, uh, probably the one most likely to get to it at the far post, had he been absolutely at full tilt. Worked it very well again, and uh, Mane, after some clever play by Williams, it's a definitely uh, a meaningful alternative to Trent Alexander-Arnold. <laughs> well, we're still waiting for Joe Gomez to open his senior account. And you can see why with that left foot shot. Yeah, 141 appearances for club and country, no goals. Costas Simikas is the new left back for Liverpool. He's probably thinking to himself, well, I know how to beat Arsenal. We knocked him out of the Europa League. Get me on. See, there's the poor play out from the back where Arsenal give it away in a dangerous area. And they played it well, they scored a goal. They got out of that particular jam as well with the goal kick. Question as to whether Rob Holding and Leeds have shown an interest in him for their promotion. William Saliba, Saliba, you take your pick, is the defender in waiting today. He'd been uh, signed from St. Hedieni, he was immediately loaned back to them and did very well, although he had some injuries during last season. Yeah, and if he was going to play in a back three, it would be on the right-hand side mm. of a back three, exactly where Rob Holding's playing mm. at the moment. And they're in for Gabriel Magalhaes, another central defender, not the Gabriel they had before, Arsenal. But another Brazilian defender. And Saliba managed to make his exit from France. And of course, he's based before, or in time anyway, to do some training. He played against MK Dons on Tuesday. As I said earlier, Pepe and Lacazette still, to some extent, confined, we hear. Come, come, come. But, uh, quarantine and isolation are not words you hear from the Arsenal camp. Strategic returns, I think, is what they're telling us about. Here's Wijnaldum. Salah has a brilliant ball to Robertson. Good work by Bayerin, who's saying to Saka, maybe you should have cut it out. What are you doing? But it's a fantastic pass. Yeah, Bayerin went really narrow. It's a good pass here. Saka did switch off for a stride, didn't he? Yeah. That can be very costly at this level. Yeah, and Bayerin did well just to get back in and get the block in. Corner for Liverpool. Van Dijk on the move, and out by holding. Robertson, chance again. Brilliant work from the fullbacks for Liverpool over the last couple of seasons. Alexander Arnold, I think, just edging ahead. 25 assists in the last two Premier League campaigns, setting records along the way. And Robertson not far behind. Williams and drops for Milner. Mane trying to wriggle for some space. Another Liverpool corner. The pressure is mounting on Arsenal, but they still lead by that brilliant Aubameyang goal. And they've defended their box really well so far. 
I think we'll see this ball go into the box. Van Dijk has been throwing his arms up in the air every time they've taken it short. Well, it went into the box, but not by the route you were talking about. And nearly caught Arsenal out. Robertson. Oh, and the first touch from Mane. He's very good in the air. He's not the tallest of the Liverpool players by any means. A great spring. Yeah, and Van Dijk would have been on the side this time, just couldn't get that right leg out in time. Another very good cross from Robertson. Mane gets above Rob Holding. Well, although football has changed so much in terms of positions and where players come from, the old uh, crossing position from what used to be a winger's domain is still very much in the way of opening up teams you're playing against. Well, doesn't can... matter who does it, it does matter if it's done or not. Doesn't matter how many players the defending side have got back, how many players have got in their own box. If the attacker beats the defender in the air, there's every possibility of a goal-scoring opportunity. Where Maitland-Niles is, and again, he talked about his inside position. And Bamiang's gone out wide. And Ketia wants it cut back here. Saka's in the box as well, and in the end it's cleared by Milner, up and down. Making sure no further gaps appear, but... Wolves are the club that are supposed mm. to be going to sign a Ainsley Maitland-Niles. They've got a vacancy, it seems Matt Doherty's going to uh, Spurs, if that deal hasn't already been done. Here's Bayardin. Some clever into play. Still looking good again. Now Bami Yang, he wants to get it onto his right foot again, but this time for a pass. And it loops away for a corner. As uh, Kieran Tierney again joins in wide. There's a lot of the pushing forward defenders that Arteta's doing smacks of Guardiola's Manchester City, where he worked, of course. Yeah, there's the run for Tierney to break forward. Maitland Niles made a little diagonal run, took defenders with him. Arsenal have a corner. Arsenal have the lead. And they're looking to add to it before half time here. Uh, one thing when you take a corner against uh, Liverpool, you have to bypass Virgil van Dijk. Back does go up when Aubameyang went to the ball. It did look offside. I must say the assistants have been encouraged with the new uh, tweaks to the VAR. I think we we knew that that, that was the, the briefing, but it's in black and white now keep the flag down. Yeah, look how high Liverpool trying to get, having cleared that first ball, ball hooked in behind. I'm not sure he was offside when the ball was played. Bayerine. Tierney gives and goes. It's just behind him. But there was a foul. On Maitland Niles. It's just been a couple of times when Xhaka or El, El, El Nenny have got the ball in midfield and the ball over the top is on. The runners made the right runs and they've just turned away from it. Maitland Niles just being fouled by Nico Williams on that occasion. I haven't seen the way he's played in the cup final and in that semi final and now today. You'd have to wonder why. Arsenal would want to sell him at this particular point. Hey, 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 hey. Liverpool caught out again. On, uh, David Luiz riding from the right. It's an intriguing game. It's another good ball played into the box along that six-yard box. It's uh, the kind of Saka this time. But Arsenal are looking good when they attack. Liverpool are making them work defensively. 
for all the possession that Liverpool have had, they've dominated possession. The team that have looked more threatening has been Arsenal when they've got it into the top third of the field. And they've got a free kick here to stop Liverpool in their tracks from counter-attacking. One added minute left in the first half, which has been reminiscent of the way Arsenal have gone about their business in the FA Cup semi-final against Manchester City and the final against Chelsea. Could be the in-swinger here from Saka. Space to aim for, just behind the penalty spot. That's where it goes, and the player it would have reached is David Luiz. Who I think would have been onside as well. It's a good job for Liverpool that Robertson got that block in. He'll be very pleased with his team's defending and their counter-attacking Mikel Arteta in this first half. Well, as uh, we mentioned right at the beginning, the uh, weather, I think, here has made the players get into reality mode because they've had to run around the make sure they've uh, not felt the chill but they felt the chill Liverpool at the back because our Bamiang has produced a party piece at Wembley again for Arsenal Virgil van Dijk involved in a goal that was disallowed at nil-nil but our Bamiang put Arsenal in front pretty early in this first half piece and they've had other chances after that as well Alisson made a good save from Anketia. Liverpool with plenty of the ball, but not too much in the way of penetration. And at half-time in the Community Shield, it's Arsenal 1, Liverpool 0. Remember that the game finishes after 90 minutes. If it is level, it will go straight to penalties. No extra time out of uh, deference to the players and their probably difficulty for playing 90 minutes at this stage of this unprecedented year where the breaks have been enforced by factors nothing to do with football. And the restarts retimed. Arsenal leading by a goal to nil from their Wembley specialist of 2020. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. He probably just as well he hasn't signed the contract. He might be able to add a little bit more on to it after a goal like that, particularly if Arsenal do go on to uh, get the shield into his hands. Pretty heavy trophy compared to the two that. Uh, the clubs won well, one each respectively to get into this fixture. David Luiz. Tierney. Just enough weight on it to find Jacker. Now holding. Had a complex season last season. Arsenal starting under Unai Emery who lost his job, then Freddie Jungberg, of course, a famous member of Arsenal's invincible team as a player, took over as management. Oh, my goodness, it was just <laughs> enough. Van Dijk did look as though he was in charge, and he was, but he uh, gave himself the last possible second. And maybe the same applies to David Luiz, who's just hoisted it away from Firmino. Wijnaldum. He's the player I thought that might make a difference when the ball went wide and crosses came into the box. Wijnaldum, he's the player that's good in the air, he makes those late runs. Didn't really see it in that first half. Now comes Martinez. Bernd Leno is fit again, remember he was injured at Brighton in June. Martinez came on as a substitute, having waited some ten years to have a run in the side, having joined as a, a teenager from his native Argentina, and certainly made the most of his opportunity. Hey. 
kick given in Mane's favour. There was Arsenal playing out from the back again and almost did it very well. They got it to bear in and a bit of space. Saka had made the run in behind Robertson, just couldn't find that final pass. And goes uh, Salah. Liverpool came from behind in this fixture last season against Manchester City to equalise and take it to penalties. And they lost the shootout when uh, Wijnaldum was the only one of the players on either side to fail. Joel Matip got the goal, but uh, he's also on the injured list for Liverpool at the moment. And here's Wijnaldum. Out by David Luiz, Aubameyang giving chase, but uh, out sprinting Gomez is quite a task. Van Dijk played uh, every minute of the triumphant season in the Premier League for Liverpool. Milner. Wijnaldum, Gomez. Good touch from Salah, not so good from Mane. El Nenny sent tumbling by James Milner. Liverpool start against Leeds, which was, of course, Milner's first club. He made his Premier League debut for Leeds United as a 16-year-old. Playing at this level for more than half of his life. It's a different sort of player in those early days, very much a winger. Firmino trying to get it through to Salah. Be interesting when and if Jurgen Klopp turns to Rian Brewster, who was averaging a goal every two games for Swansea and has scored three in the two pre-season outings for Liverpool. In the last couple of days, last uh, ten days, I should say, at Arsenal with uh, Maitland Niles trying to make it 2 0 to the Gunners here. But it started by Saka out on that right hand side again, coming in on his left foot. Such a versatile player, we've seen him play at left wing back. Firmino trying to. Uh, Replicate Aubameyang to some extent. Well, it's a good effort in the end. David Luiz is backing off. He's trying to wrap his foot round it and bend it into that far corner. It started to come round, but not enough. He's had a great record against Arsenal. Eight goals in ten appearances. Teta's men try to play from the back again. Haven't quite got a shot on target so far. There were eight shots, but none on target. That was fairly close. Here's Aubameyang. He rarely misses the target, but goes for a cross this time. It's too far ahead of Saka, who was the furthest player coming from the opposite flank. Hasn't quite got the control in the left foot as he has when he comes back onto his right. It's a switch of play again. Nico Williams is really narrow. It's always going to be difficult for him to get back here, and he's just trying to play this ball maybe along that six yard box for players coming in at the far post. David Lewis uh, had a bit of time, but the touch didn't make use of it. Now, I'm sure you're studying it closely, Stuart, as to who individually, rather than the two teams, is going to be able to show fitness beyond what the preparation has been for this game at this time of the year. Some players naturally just bounce back, others take a little bit longer, need the, uh, the game time in their legs. Williams, Salah, Mane. Fabinho. 
Williams. Mourinho kept on running. Now his reward here is to win a corner, and he's done just that. Well, he's played well so far. Maitland Niles for Bino, the holding midfield player. Certainly made that job his own last season. Well, despite the uh, pin or stitches in that uh, cut over the eye, Virgil van Dijk will try and get his head on this one. Pretty much all these goals for Liverpool have been headers. He's uh, right in the mix. And maybe did get the last touch. It's a goal kick anyway. It's interesting how Arsenal are trying to defend him. El Nenny is marking him and not even watching the ball. He's just trying to block the runs of Van Dijk. And then there's zonal marking, so he likes to hold in, attack it. Luis attacking it as well, but Van Dijk did get his head on it. He's so good in the air. There's the man that's meant to be marking him, or certainly blocking his runs. It'll be interesting to see whether he gets another chance with Arsenal this season or whether they send him out on loan again. Firmino. Mm, a bit lucky, Arsenal. This is played for Tierney by Maitland Niles. Salah. Williams. Van Dijk. Out to Robertson, who was threatening, typically so, in the first half. Van Dijk seems to be moving forward and wanting to have a shot then, but he's lost out. Here's Aubameyang, it's a one-man Arsenal counter-attack at the moment. Saka trying to get there. Robertson just policed him to uh, Liverpool's relief, really. I think that sums up Liverpool's frustration when they do get it into the top third of the field. Van Dijk started to come with it, couldn't really see a pass, took another touch and another one. And as you said, it looked as though he was going to pull mm. the trigger. And had it pinched off him by Aubameyang. Robertson this time spotting a run from Mane. And Mane's in here. And Martinez stands up to the test. And kept himself upright for long enough before he dropped to make the block. Well, this is what Liverpool wants. Space in behind for the run of Mane. I think he's just about onside. David Luiz was probably just playing him onside, but once he gets there, what a good save it is from Martinez. That's been typical of the way he finished last season. Uh, the challenge to Bernd Leno. He stays tall as well, so Mane couldn't just lift it over him. He goes again. Not really in his domain that time. That was the warning for Arsenal. If they play too high, holding just starts Paul watching. David Luiz goes high with him. Mane will run in behind. Arsenal, remember, finished eighth in the Premier League, their worst position for 25 years. But they got into Europe, into the Europa League by winning the FA Cup. Try and catch Arsenal out again here. Playing from the back is it's worked well if it can be played to the right hand side. And, and Milner was aware of that, the danger. And uh, I think Andre Mariner had some justification for that because it did rather stop Arsenal in their progressive tracks. And that's one of the things that, as he's got a little bit older, Milner so keen to win the ball back, does commit a lot of fouls. I would say at Anfield he gets away with a lot as well. David Lewis trying to give uh, Saka something to chase again. Robertson vigilant. Cedric, the uh, signing from Southampton, getting ready to uh, come on. Wasn't eligible for the FA Cup run. Was originally signed on loan back in January. And uh, Nabi Keita getting the call. It's like a batsman coming down the steps to 
enjoying the action. So a straightforward swap with Hector Bellerin for Arsenal. Minamino, who regularly, I, I think he's senior to Rian Brewster in terms of the uh, way Jurgen Klopp wants to play. He might come on for Firmino, that's, or he can replace either of the wider attackers as well. And uh, Williams goes off. Who's going to go to right back? Fabinho to centre half and Gomez to right back. Does it look like that, Stuart? Yeah, that's how it looks. They're all looking across at Jurgen Klopp. Fabinho's getting the instructions. He's going to play alongside Van Dijk. And Gomez is going to right back. Yeah, he's, he's done that before, Fabinho. And Gomez has played right back plenty of times before. Van Dijk has the captain's armbands with the departure of uh, Milner. Cater, who uh, finished last season in very good form. The suggestion that after a three-year wait, of course, he was originally signed and then loaned back. It's three years since he joined Liverpool officially, two years since he first played for them. And uh, having... Built him up like that. <laughs> He's put the shot slightly nearer the corner, flagged on the goal. But uh, eager for the fray, who is conspicuous too. There is Ryan Brewster. But not the kind of forward. It's just a, a penalty box player, really. That's, that's He knows he's got to learn a lot more about linking the play, being involved outside the box. But here's Salah getting uh, Liverpool into the box. Well, they're now playing with Mane out on the right-hand side. Salah's going to play through the middle with Firmino in behind him, and Minamino is going to play on the left-hand side. That's how they set up. Bamiyang couldn't pick out either Nketiah or Saka. It's a question now of what have Arsenal got in their legs. Mm. Liverpool with a more experienced set of substitutes, you would feel. But at the moment, Liverpool aren't moving Arsenal around enough. It's quite easy for Arsenal just to stay in their shape here, get men behind the ball and hope to threaten on the counter-attack. Not switching the play quickly enough at the moment, Liverpool. Van Dijk. It remains an intriguing contest between two teams going into the new season with great ambition. Liverpool, in a sense, looking to stay where they are. The uh, top of the pack. And Arsenal looking to get up to where they haven't been champions, of course, for a long time, but to uh, at least compete in the top four. Yeah, I don't think it was too much of a foul there from Maitland-Niles. Gomez got to the ball first. He certainly had a good game, Maitland-Niles, and it's just that position he takes up there. We saw him as a left wing-back. Now, when it's a goal kick, he goes into central midfield with Tierney almost playing as a wing-back and Aubameyang up front with Nketiah. But, uh, they might just change now, because that's set up for them to play out from the back, and uh, Liverpool this time of also the pressure of the situation. Uh, half an hour away <laughs> from winning the Community Shield as it stands, Arsenal. But uh, Liverpool will certainly have a strong say in the last third of the game, you feel. Jurgen Klopp said before the game, I can pretty much guarantee it won't be our best performance of the season. Uh, we want to give what we can and we, of course, want to win a trophy. And you and I were here last year and you mentioned it earlier. Man City dominated the first 20, 25 minutes, but once Liverpool went the goal down, they really did play well, and you just sent from that game 
how much Liverpool had improved having won the Champions League a few weeks beforehand and how they believed they could go and beat Manchester City for the Premier League title. Yeah, it was a fantastic season for Liverpool on the back of a previous fantastic season in which they didn't win the league, but they came just one point off. Here's uh, Wijnaldum looking fit and strong for the challenge that lies ahead for Liverpool here at Wembley. To come back from a goal down. A goal from Obama Young inside the opening 15 minutes. Van Dijk. Robertson's done well. No, he hasn't quite kept it in, but uh, again. She has sent some frustration with Liverpool. They can't see that forward pass. Jurgen Klopp's looking at it. How can he change things? He's made a couple of substitutions already. But how can he change the tactics on the field? Because usually it's their movement that causes problems, but Arsenal are just passing people on at the right time. They're making good decisions defensively. Wijnaldum. There is a suggestion that Brewster, incidentally, who we might yet see, is going to go to Sheffield United on loan to get more starting game time. And uh, obviously, having done well in the Championship, he's come back to Anfield showing that he could play in the Championship as long as he got into the playoffs. And uh, Brewster featured prominently in that. But we haven't seen him at Wembley yet. Gomez. Mane. Firmino. And the Mane and make the Niles as well again. A tight call that, but the Arsenal man just kept his uh, concentration, his discipline. He was aware of both the man and the ball. Wijnaldo. Keita. Robertson with a touch, then a cross, met by Holding. And the foul by Keita, and I feel Arsenal quite glad to get the free kick. Yeah, and they're quite happy when that ball does go wide and Robertson's going to cross it, that they've got players that can deal with the ball in the box. Yeah, Keita going for the ball, but it's a nasty challenge in the end. Here's that moment you were talking about. He does really well, Maitland-Niles, good pace. Good understanding, good reading of the situation. He knew where Mane was. And he didn't lose sight of the ball. He's a great athlete, Maitland-Niles. He's had his critics at Arsenal over the last couple of years, but when he's playing well and he's really fully focused, he's a good player. He got a little bit misunderstood because he was asked what his favourite position was and he said, well, I've been playing at right back, it's not really my favourite position, but he didn't say it in a very negative way, but it got reported rather as, I don't want to be a right back. He's had to live with a bit of fallout from that. Yeah, I think one or two of the supporters said, well, you should just be happy you're playing. He was. Yeah, I think he was, he was yeah. yeah. Wijnaldum. Liverpool supporters will be looking for a bit more from Minamino, who uh, did well playing against Liverpool. In a sense, earned his move. It's always the way down the years in the Bob Paisley times, Joe Fagan. If a player did well against Liverpool, who of course top dollar, top dogs then, they often went and got him on that basis alone. Here's a Firmino. And. Uh, Minamino trying to open his uh, Liverpool account. He'll do better than that to beat Martinez. Yeah, they gave the ball away in midfield, Arsenal. And there's the driving run from Cater. You can see he's just trying to wrap his foot round it and hit it across the goalkeeper, it's too straight in the end. 
It's interesting to find out exactly what Minamino's best position is. Is he a number 10? Is he a player that plays in a wide area? What are his main attributes? Nice tidy play by Eddie and Ketia to find Aubameyang. Looks uh, for Saka. Can use his right foot as well as the left. And it is a corner. Good play again from Arsenal. Saka trying to just drag it onto his right foot. Wijnaldum getting back and defending really well in behind Robertson. An Arsenal corner. And they've been defending for a while. Push Liverpool back this time. Saka to take it. Alisson certainly been crowded. And David Luiz arriving as well to add to that crowd. It's into the area and the uh, goalkeeper's fouled there. Alisson has at least once been beaten direct from a corner. I remember for Ashley Westwood at Burnley, of Burnley at Anfield. I don't know whether that's perceived in the, uh, the databases of Premier League rivals. That's something you can work on. Arsenal have signed a, a special set piece coach from uh, Brentford. You know, Strengthening, and certainly in terms of numbers of the staff this week, one of three new recruits to Arteta's backroom team. Yeah. It's going to be a free kick for Liverpool, surely. Against the Cedric. There's that. Minamino is actually looking at Cedric. Could be given as a foul the other way. It was... mm. He looked at him, but he didn't actually go into him, did he? <laughs> Arteta thought he did. He's with you, Stuart, I think. Anyway, it's a free kick to Liverpool. And this is exactly where they had the goal disallowed in the first half at the other end, where Van Dyke was offside. He's standing in offside position already now. Robertson takes it. Van Dyke coming in, but it doesn't reach him. Not sure why he wants to stand in that offside position because. He's actually going the wrong way when the ball was played in. Then he's got to make a forward run. Tierney judged it well, reacted quicker. There's people who stand in there, usually come back out again, but he certainly didn't. Anyway, he's got another chance for Joe Van Dyke to put his uh, attacking imprint on this community shield. They're trying to block off to make a run for him. Corner taker was Robertson who gets it again just about keeps it Gomez Mane into Firmino Liverpool threaten again getting behind Arsenal this time that's been pretty difficult for them to do in the second half even though they've had plenty of the ball in front of them Keita That's uh, overcooked. Well, often when Arsenal have been uh, needing maybe a little bit of uh, work ethic, a bit of athleticism, Joe Willock has been the man on call. Tetra will be a little concerned, number of free kicks that have been given away. And that Liverpool, certainly territorially, uh, shaping the agenda in the second half. But they haven't shaped an equaliser. There's still 20 minutes to go. Mane. Salah. Well, shout for handball, the ball's ended up in the back of the net and the goal is given. And Minamino came onto the scene. And Arsenal have been playing a dangerous game, Stuart. Well, they certainly have. They've been defending deeply. But that's the only way that Liverpool were going to break them down, by playing balls in, continuing their runs. Was it a handball here? No, it wasn't. It's the defender coming across, it falls really nicely for Minamino, who just passes it beyond Martinez. 
don't think that was a handball by any Liverpool player and it may have just come off Salah's arm. That's what Arsenal are appealing for. And uh, it's being reviewed. Was it just here? May well have come off his left arm. And of course, any kind, whether it's intentional or not, doesn't come into it. It's you can't assist or score a goal with the use of an arm. It wasn't him that was the culprit. And the goal is given. Well, you wondered about him, Stuart. He's found a, a moment to please himself, to please his club, and maybe please you as well by being bright and alert there when the opportunity came as well. It was a striker's finish. Well, he was also involved in the build-up as Salah came in field. We haven't seen enough of Salah on the ball, coming in field, playing little one-twos. It's him that played the ball into Minamino. Aubameyang. Certainly wasn't the case of Arsenal resting on their laurels, but Liverpool have, by dint of uh, graft as much as craft, will be looking increasingly dangerous. And here's Firmino uh, looking to turn it round. A quick succession here with Robertson's cross. Oh, and Martinez had no margin for error there, and nor was there an error. Yeah, first real bit of involvement from. Mo Salah, this is where they thought he may handle it, just here. May have come off his chest. Cedric was round on the cover and it bounced off his chest straight into the path of Minamino. Well, it's the kind of goal that pressure can bring. Mm. Just weight of numbers and the ball, if you get numbers in the box, the ball might just break your way and it broke the way of the Japan international who scores for Liverpool for the first time. And suddenly Arsenal aren't able to pass the ball quite so well. One or two players are arguing with each other, Tierney and Xhaka. Two passes out to Aubameyang have gone out of play. And just a reminder again that players on both sides have probably just put 45 minutes and Liverpool have done it twice. Two games against Stuttgart and Stuttgart and the Salzburg, both in Austria. And now they're going into what, in terms of the last few weeks, is uncharted territory. But of course, you know, bags of games in June and July, which is not the norm. Mane. And still, all on it, nearly dropped the <laughs> Liverpool's way again through. Uh, Firmino. Minamino. Bamiyang, but he's the furthest forward. He's got the ball. Eddie and Ketty here. Well, now the front three are giving the ball away cheaply. Eddie and Ketty has given it away the last two or three times it's come to him. Not holding it up at all. Tierney looks so like he's struggling here. Gomez. Minamino. <laughs> Challenged by Elneny. Salah. It just might be the making of Minamino for Liverpool to get a Wembley goal, an important one at that too. And there might be more to come if he can point to a turnaround coinciding and to some extent caused by his arrival into the community shield suddenly Arsenal look a very weary and leggy side can't get tight to people certainly not being able to keep hold of possession that's why Mikel Arteta is ready one or two players over on that far side Liverpool sense their chance here where the Hampshire attack has to start from. Taku with only one ball on, really, out to Bamiang, who's closely watched by Gomez. It's not the kind of... I know it's a switch by Liverpool, but for Bamiang's point of view, it's not a switch that probably will please him too much. Because Gomez is such a... Well, he's a good footballer, but he's a, a very speedy defender. 
Yeah, I think in the first half we'd have seen Aubameyang try and run behind Nico Williams. On that mm. occasion, he went deeper and deeper to get the ball. Arsenal just got to remind themselves, and it's difficult when you're feeling the fatigue, which they clearly are, of what got them into a position of uh, certainly leading the game, if not total supremacy. And here's Saka, and that's a stumble, I think, just emphasising the fatigue. But also, just a warning for Liverpool, if they do become complacent, and do try and hold that high line when somebody's got time on the ball at the back as holding had. Uh, Andre Mariner says, I think he's called that even, and uh, Liverpool can play on. I want to do just that, Keita. Neat football from Arsenal, but from deep. Have they got the legs now to uh, stretch Liverpool? that fairly enough <laughs> it's Keita and again Arsenal happy for Liverpool to play it around in this part of the pitch. And to engage as it goes further forward, Gomez, Fabinho, the stand-in centre-back. Robertson's almost playing on the left wing now with Minamino going alongside Salah up front. Firmino just in behind them. Firmino. Mane. And Gomez going forward, almost cluttering it up really for Liverpool. Here's Salah, it's a ball of some skill for Robertson. El Nenny saw the danger, he breaks back Liverpool's way again and Robertson can cross again. And Mane, and good work by Martinez. It was probably a slightly easier block than the earlier one on the other side, but he's taken it in the solar plexus to keep Sadio Mane off the score sheet. Did he take one touch too many here, Sadio Mane? You thought he might? strike it now he just overruns it here and he should be lifting it over the goalkeeper martinez does well great chest control beyond tierney he's looking a tired player at the moment he's been holding that hamstring justifying his inclusion in the side once again martinez well michael arteta said in his pre-match interview that he was playing because uh, he played in the cup final, he deserves to play today, even though he's had very little preparation. Well, the, the change is being rung by the Arsenal manager, Joe Willock finally gets on. <laughs> Maurice Nelson as well. And Kieran Tierney is going to give way to Saad Kolasinac. Curtis Jones on for Liverpool. Nine substitutes, name six can be used. On that subject, I think it's uh, pleased many football fans that the five subs rule that was brought in for the restart in the Premier League and was on offer for the new full season has been rejected by the Premier League. It's back to three from seven when we get going in the league in a couple of weeks. The argument being that the uh, the big clubs had more yeah. senior players and were getting advantages by bringing on five teams that couldn't quite afford five superstars on the bench. 
1-1 here. We're eight minutes away from uh, being decided by penalties. Jones for Firmino. There's something again, even in these difficult times, for travelling for players that we've had goal scorers from Gabon and Japan. And here's the former. Cater from Guinea. Mike and Niles from London. Goal kick. He's probably looked the fittest of Arsenal's players, I would say. Maitland-Niles down this left-hand side. Both with his defensive work and when he's tried to break forward. He's still got the legs to go and join in with Aubameyang. If you're not, even if you're blessed at a top-level footballer with technique and talent, it can be very frustrating, particularly this time of year, with those who don't seem to have to do anything but can run for 90 minutes. <laughs> without ever seeming to get out of breath. And maybe Maitland-Niles is one of those. He's talented as well. And he's still an Arsenal player. I don't know that might be changing. Aubameyang. Here is Maitland-Niles, who was struggling to stay onside. Now the offside flag has gone up. Six minutes, plus added time away from the drama of a penalty shootout for both these clubs. The last time they played in the Community Shields, it went to penalties. Arsenal had a comfortable win over Chelsea. I don't know if memory serves me right, Thibaut Courtois missing a penalty. Chelsea goalkeeper. And last season it was... Uh, very tight from the spot, but Wijnaldum's failure cost Liverpool. And uh, Manchester City always did count the Community Shield. They called themselves the four middables for the fourth trophy being the Community Shield. And that was the, uh, the season before. But they retained it at Liverpool's expense just over a year ago. Here's Maitland-Niles, and Arsenal have got numbers forward here. A goal now might uh, eliminate the need for penalties. Well, Nenny. Involved again, Cedric's cross, he's a good crosser too. Oh, that could have been the shield for Joe Willock. Oh, what a chance. Really good bit of play from Arsenal, started by Maitland-Niles down one side of the field. They worked it well, and then he with the pass out wide, good cross into the box. And he gets between two defenders, Gomez and Fabinho. It's a big chance for him, just slides off his forehead. Really should be hitting the target with that. Maitland Niles. Arsenal have been in their shell, really, for much of the second half, forced back into it by Liverpool, you would say, but they're almost creating again. A bit too much clip on it from Maitland-Niles. Arsenal win it back in Liverpool territory. And then it... Great response, this, to conceding the equaliser by Arteta's team. Liverpool's throw. And then he wins the header. Maitland Niles. It's a good touch by Mane, but Jones couldn't take advantage of that. Of course, they did have a penalty shootout last season these two clubs in the League Cup after a five-all draw I'm quite been treated to that level of uh, goal scoring yeah a high boot here from Mane man of the match 
Well, we've talked about him a lot today on his birthday. Uh, will he be an Arsenal player in the weeks ahead? By his next birthday. <laughs> and uh, I think he's deserved it as well. I think he's I, been outstanding. I, I agree with you totally. And th those who've chosen have chosen wisely. Kalasinac, not out of play. Kalasinac now ruining that as Curtis Jones plays long. Salah chases. I think that penalty shootout after the 5 all was decided by Curtis Jones, his winning penalty. He's on the pitch. He's certainly a, a nominated candidate for what is looking increasingly likely now with 90 seconds plus added time to go. Now Bamiyang, but uh, Arsenal now with Willock, who's just missed that headed chance. Now Bamiyang, surely not. <laughs> Another double. And he's uh, in position for one here because Willock can cross it. Bamiyang going towards the near post. Asked for a corner, doesn't get it. Well, it's a good run from Aubameyang as well. The only place he could have got it was across that near post area. Defended well, well enough anyway, by Van Dijk. He's on the side, will it? There you see the run of Aubameyang. Fabinho goes to sleep and allows him to run in behind him, but Van Dijk read the danger. Three added minutes we're hearing. But it's been a, a very good contest from first whistle to last, and Arsenal have suddenly found something extra, and maybe some fear of taking penalties, whatever it is. And Liverpool have just uh, backed off it a little bit, thinking that they would just carry on playing as they did in the pressure that led to the equaliser, which was in keeping with the way the game was being played at that stage. Yeah, I think Arsenal have just changed their attitude since Liverpool's equaliser. I think while they were one nil up, they were just dropping that little bit deeper. They were quite comfortable, really. Liverpool hadn't made too many chances. I think it was almost their first shot on target, Liverpool. And here's Jones. And again, their last shot on target. Should it come from this move and beat Martinez, would surely give them the trophy. Van Dijk. Keita. Here's Jones. Another one like Saka, who's been given a, a lower number this season, from the 40s to 17. Oh, and Robertson coming in, but pushing. It wouldn't have counted. Remember, he won a game at Aston Villa. Back in November in the Premier League, with a, we certainly equalised against uh, Aston Villa with a header and then set up the winner for Sadio Mane in added time. It was an important goal from the left back in that match. And you can see he does give Cedric a slight nudge in the back there. And here's the man that you wanted on a little bit earlier. <laughs> yeah, Brian Brewster. He's uh, replacing the man whose penalty failed in the shootout. In the last Community Shield, Gene, Jeannie Wijnaldum. And like all goal-getters, I'm sure Brewster has a, a desire to take a spot kick. Jürgen Klopp galvanising his forces for another Wembley decider in the Community Shield by that method. David Luiz. Liverpool's throw. Just over a minute to go. Time for one more attack. Fabinho. Remember the, uh, the very first Wembley charity shield, the old Wembley, of course between Liverpool and Leeds went to a penalty shootout after a rather fractious game. Which, uh, saw a couple of uh, fiery characters sent off. This is uh, Bremner and Keegan, I think. 
I think it was Brian Clough's first game in charge of Leeds United. I mean, it's 40 odd days in charge of Leeds United. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think Mikel Arteta will be quite pleased with some of the aspects that, from his side's performance. I'm not sure that Jurgen Klopp will be overly pleased with his team's performance, but they've got to draw out it eventually. And a penalty shootout out of it. What have you made of it for 90 minutes, Stuart? Oh, I think it's been a good game. I think it's been competitive. I thought Arsenal started really well in terms of the way they defended. They made it difficult for Liverpool to break them down and their counter-attacking was excellent with their speed of Obama Yang, the runs of Maitland-Niles and the movement of Saka and Nketiah but gradually Liverpool got back into the game they dominated possession and eventually got that one chance they needed so it's down now to the goalkeepers Alisson and Emi Martinez 1-1 after 90 minutes, we go to penalties. Well, I'm sure even in the short time they've had to prepare for this game, they would have had a passing thought about the fact it could be decided from the spot. Some homework that's been done. Martinez getting some advice of maybe where some of the players might take their penalty for Liverpool. That Liverpool 1974 when we were talking about was the very first time it was decided by penalties at the old Wembley. And of course, here a year ago, the last time. I don't think that final was remembered for the penalties, more those two sending offs. Mm. Yeah, I remember going a, a week later to interview Kevin Keegan at his home in North Wales when he's a Liverpool player and then saying I was only looking after myself I was told that if you get hit you've got to hit back and he was uh, it was very uh, it was a very emotional interview actually obviously regretted the fact that it happened but justified his feelings of uh, how he got involved and as I say Brian Clough didn't last very long as the Leeds manager after that I always feel the uh, goalkeepers are in a, a winning position here either way because everyone expects the attacking player to score. Any save is greeted with um, great acclaim. Yeah, most times goalkeepers will just gamble, they'll dive one way, they try and read where the player's going to take it. Sometimes they get lucky, sometimes they don't. Most of the times they don't. Well, have been uh, reinforced uh, guidelines for the referees or a change in the laws about the goalkeeper's behaviour at shootouts. Should the goalkeeper save a penalty but have his foot over the line, VAR will have it retaken and uh, it's non-negotiable. It's not a, a judgment call, it's a fact. I think the referee is just explaining to the goalkeepers and the captains. There's the man that started it all off, Obama Yang. What a goal that was. But well, he's the man in form, Martinez. Can he win the community shield for Arsenal? And it is Liverpool who are going first. So Martinez straight away into the firing line. Mo Salah, who's taken the a few penalties is not been faultless but certainly converted the majority of his spot kicks in his time with Liverpool I wouldn't say he had one of his greatest games today it was fairly innocuous at times so the shootout starts with Salah for Liverpool, and he 
fires it past Martinez. There's yeah, certainly no doubt about that one. Hits right through the back of the ball. Martinez goes the wrong way. Certainly doesn't go in the corner. Now, Reese Nelson took a penalty at MK Dons on Tuesday in Arsenal's only pre-season friendly, and he rolled it to the goalkeeper's right. The left as Nelson looks at it. Now, are Liverpool aware of that, or will he change his methodology anyway? Well, he fires it into that corner very effectively, and it's 1-1 in the shootout. Yeah, confident penalty. Just wraps his foot round it, looks like he's going to pass it into one corner, and then just wraps his foot round it and sends it the other way. He's taken penalties for the England under-21 team as well, Reese Nelson. So here's Fabinho. And Brazilian against Argentinian. And uh, successfully converted again. And it has been noticeable, and Andre Mariner's keeping a very close watch on it. The goalkeepers haven't tried any of the usual gamesmanship getting off the line. I'm aware now that a retake, even if you make a save, might rule it irrelevant. The man of the match, the birthday boy. Well, he certainly doesn't want to spoil it now. Everything's gone right for him today. Maitland Niles. He's had a great afternoon, and look at that. <laughs> super, super cool. Interesting to see whether he was looking at the goalkeeper the whole way he was running up here. Yes, he is. To see whether Alisson is going to move one way or the other. Just as he starts to move, he passes it into the other side of the goal. Well, Rian Brewster, a very late arrival on the scene for the penalty shootout, you felt. So, this is his moment. Back from his loan spell on at Swansea. Oh, and he hasn't converted. So the gamble hasn't paid off for Jurgen Klopp with that late change. Well, I don't think he touched the ball when he came on, so this was his first kick of the ball, and it wasn't a very good one. Just got underneath it, tried to hit it with power. So the first failure is Liverpool's. And now it is Cedric, another substitute, but much earlier in the game than Brewster was. And he scores again emphatically, Alisson again going the wrong way. And Arsenal have the edge now. Yeah, just looking at it again, this was just passed, wasn't even in the corner. They know they're very close to winning the Community Shield. Steve Round, Mikel Arteta. Minamino having scored the Liverpool equaliser. His uh, team need him to put this one away, which he does with plenty of power. So it's 3 3, but Arsenal have the extra kick. Yeah, straight down the middle, hit with power. May even have just touched the foot of the goalkeeper there, Martinez. Well, David Luiz, who's had very little training, has been uh, in isolation after his return to England. He's got through the 90 minutes, was determined to play today. And he scores, and Arsenal are ever closer. Well, it's the height that beats the goalkeeper here. Yes, it's towards the corner, but Alisson just underneath it. It's a good penalty. And that sort of height always beats the goalkeeper. Well, Curtis Jones scored the penalty to beat Arsenal in the shootout after the League Cup meeting last season. Now he has to score to keep Liverpool 
in this shootout. Martinez has a word. And Jones wins the duel. And Liverpool are still in it. Well, this is tight to the post here. Very tight to the post. It's almost an unstoppable penalty. So it's down to the regular penalty taker. The captain. The man who has owned Wembley, really, over the last few weeks, from Arsenal's point of view. They will have faith in him. Alabama Yang for Arteta, for Arsenal. He's got his Wembley double. Yet again, and Arsenal have the FA Community Shield. It had to be him, Stuart. Well, it's the perfect penalty again. Arsenal's penalties were absolutely brilliant. Technically composed penalties, no chance for Alisson in goal. On the first half performance, they deserved the victory. Liverpool dominated the second half, but Arsenal are very much an improving side under Mikel Arteta, and these players showed that confidence throughout the game, but also in the penalty shootout. And also, after the equaliser, I must say, they were the side that were looking closer to win it, as it turned out in those last few minutes. But win it, they have done, and Jurgen Klopp loses the Community Shield for a second successive season by by a penalty shootout, via one player. He took off last season's culprit, Wijnaldum, and he brought on the man who became this season's culprit, Rian Brewster. Now, Liverpool have got their hands on plenty of trophies recently, but this one eludes them. And Arsenal are having a love affair with Wembley in 2020. 5-4 on penalties after the 1-1 one, one draw. Well, Stuart, we've been here for all three of Arsenal's wins, uh, all when they've been underdogs in the game. Manchester City in the FA Cup semi-final, Chelsea in the FA Cup final, and the champions, the runaway champions, Liverpool today. Well, I think it says exactly how well Mikel Arteta is doing at Arsenal. You've mentioned three teams that have been prominent in the Premier League last season, three very good teams, and Arsenal are getting better and better. I think their tactics particularly in the way they want to play out from the back, but also keep so many players up front, four players up front at times, so they can go that little bit longer. The movement down that left-hand side, they look more organised defensively. They stopped Liverpool, though they had lots of possession to break them down when they were playing, defending in that uh, final third. Arsenal are getting better, and it, Liverpool will get better as the season wears on. They didn't look at their very best today. Arsenal came here not wanting, and they won't, voice any complaints, but they felt they were a little bit hard done by in the way that they'd had less time, because obviously they played the last game, the FA Cup final, Liverpool had an extra week, that Liverpool got together as a group and had a training camp, Arsenal couldn't because of individual isolations and uh, difficulties with getting, uh, think of the players that weren't involved today from the cup final, like Lacazette and Pepe. And new players not allowed to play either yes. for Arsenal, yeah. the likes of Willian yeah. and Saliba. 
So, yeah, it's a good performance by Arsenal and the coaching team. Martinez played his part as well. Not so much in the penalties, but in terms of two good saves when Mane broke through, got out quickly. The other worry, and I think for both teams, was that this the pressure of this game, and it certainly kept going right to the end with players who hadn't played 90 minutes, that there might be a traumatic injury uh, that would rule players out for long periods, and, and it looks as though that hasn't happened, the which only, is great. The only player that maybe slight worry about was Tierney, who went off holding the side of his leg, but hopefully that was just a precaution. Didn't see enough of that man, Mo Salah. I think he was well marshalled down, the, down Liverpool's right-hand side, Arsenal's left. I just think Jurgen Klopp will still be in slightly wide why they couldn't break Arsenal down, why they didn't make more chances. Only had one or two shots on target, despite having all that possession. As we saw with the FA Cup final, as we saw earlier today with the presentation for the women's FA Community Shield, which was won by Chelsea. No losers medals, it's all done with safety in mind. And Arsenal had quite an adventure when they went up to get the FA Cup. Um, maybe they've, they've learned from that, but Liverpool in the loser's corner here, and that doesn't happen too often. But it will be a disappointment for those players who are in the side that failed to win a shootout against Manchester City a year ago, but... <laughs> well, they worked together, but not for a while. Aubameyang and Jurgen Klopp. Now, the explanation of... <laughs> we had a few problems getting hold of the FA Cup. But the shield is... Uh, it is one trophy. It doesn't have a bottom like the FA Cup does. Uh, or a lid. And it's pretty heavy. Now, we've caught him at a moment when he's not smiling, but inside he must be. The progress has been rapid, Stuart, surely. It certainly has. I mean... You have to say that when Unai Emery first took over, there was a lot of progress, mm. but it didn't, he wasn't able to continue that. That's got to be the same with Mikel Arteta. He's got that initial progress. They're doing really well at the moment. There's more organisation, better discipline around the players, good game plans, patterns of play that you're seeing develop. He's got to keep that going from the whole of this season. Well, a medal for the manager, and deservedly so. And... It's not quite the same as having it presented by a, a dignitary up the steps at Wembley, but it's necessary. You all understand why. And they're even arriving at the uh, medals social distance as well. Uh, Jürgen Klopp and Liverpool very sportingly acknowledging the uh, victors today. They will have got fuel in the tank for what lies ahead. Two weeks now before they start against Leeds. Arsenal against Fulham away, I think uh, it's their first game. Allison couldn't come up with a save. Granite jacket, <laughs> they've run out of metals. <laughs> I don't think he'd be too worried at the moment, Obama Yang, I'm sure he'll get one eventually. He does see the funny side of it. He has the shield. Shielding's been a word we've used a lot, really, in a much more serious sense, but the shielding today has been to win the shield, and it's gone for the 16th time to Arsenal. Now one ahead of Liverpool. Manchester United have won it more times. Stuart, celebrating at Wembley for your old club, it's becoming a habit, a happy habit for the Gunners. Well, they certainly do like Wembley, whether it be semi finals, the only time they don't like it is in the League Cup, but they certainly played well today. They showed good athleticism as well, great understanding of what's required by the manager, and you think that Arsenal will have a good season this year. Well, they took the lead through Aubameyang, a late equaliser from Minamino for Liverpool, but then 100% from the penalty spot, five out of five. 
gave them the silverware. Arsenal start with a trophy. They finished last season with a trophy and it seems set fair under Mikel Arteta. Congratulations to the North London Club, winners of the FA Community Shield, 5-4 on penalties after that 1-1 draw.